So my name is Dorina Pritch. I work at uh, International Alert and International Alert is a peace building organization um, and we are here in West Pokot today to join women from the Pokot and Marakwet uh, communities to celebrate the International Women's Day. Um, but he, really the main objective or the, the main reason why we've decided to, to have this celebration here is we want to underscore the significant role of women in um, peace building as well as climate uh, change action. Uh, we know that you know the communities that you are working in are very much disproportionately impacted by um, the effects of climate change, of course, which relates to uh, the perennial resource-based conflicts that are happening in these areas. So we are here to really um, amplify the voices of women, but also to bring them together in, 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 in appreciating uh, the common challenges that they are facing, and for them to look at what ways they can um, come up with to be able to resolve their own uh, the, the problems that they are having, particularly the result of conflict that is ongoing in, in, in this part of the country. Uh, one of the key key functions of women, particularly when it regards to peace building, is uh, we understand that their voices, when they come to platforms such as their role in peace committees, they bring on a certain angle that may not really um, you know, be appreciated, particularly in patriarchal societies such as, uh, such as this one. So really for us, we want to bring women, to train them to build their capacity to engage in, uh, in peace building processes, part particularly being part of the decision making uh, processes such as, you know, the peace committees or the climate change adaptation committees. So we want to underscore and want to build the capacity and empower them to be part of those committees so that also the voices and the issues of women are, um, are brought to the table. Uh, but also the other thing is really want to raise awareness. Uh, I think there's an assumption that women don't know what climate change is or what is happening. So, uh, but, that, but that's not the case, particularly as we're speaking in a, in a, in a region where there's a high rates of, high rates of illiteracy. So our role is to break it down, you know, what, 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 what climate change is, what conflict is, and how can they uh, make sure that they are participating in decision-making processes, making sure that their voices are heard, either they're in you know, adaptation committees or even just in policy and other legislative frameworks that are happening, that their voices also need to be heard. So that, that's really the essence of why we are here. Uh, of course, there are other other initiatives that we'll be undertaking, such as supporting uh, some groups uh, who are undertaking climate change adaptation initiatives uh, in West Pocot County. So, and we'll be very keen to ensure that also women, women groups, and um, you know other special interest groups such as persons with disability also have access to such opportunities so that they can be able to scale whatever they are doing um, and be able to for other people to actually learn what they are what they are working. Yeah. Minaita Julia Lobron, mimi mkaaji ya Kacheliba, na mimi ni Peace Ambassador, memba ya Potuma Women Group, ambaye anaendesha uh, kipindi cha mani katika sehemu yetu ya West Pokot, Marakwet na Turkana. Na kwa hiyo mambo ya mani na ambassadorship, Sisi upande wa Kacheliba, tumeendesha amani kama members wote wa Potuma na kaundi mzima mpaka upande wa koridor ya Karamoja cluster ah, imetulia. Na, lakini changamoto ambayo iko kwa saa hii inaanza kuamka tena. Na kwa sasa katika hii Women Day, International Women Day, tumefurahia kuja upande wa Lomut, kuja kuchumika na wenzetu, wa mama wenzetu wa hapa, uh, tukiwa katika husuni pia, kwa sababu hawana hame atuna amani na majirani zetu. Hata kwa mkutano, lakini wamerudi kwa barabara uh, kuhusu hiyo mambo ya kukosa amani. Na kwa hivyo, tukona changamoto kali, Wamama wanapenda amani. Lakini katika inji yetu hii, tumekosa kujua kwa nini amani inakosekana. Uh, kuna jambo mingi kwa hii kaunti yetu ya Otutana na Marakwet, 
kuna sababu kubwa ambaye hata serikali tunalilia wa ili wakuja wa address hiyo issue kwa sababu tumeongea mara mingi kwa mikutano zetu na hakuna mtu anatusikiza tulisema courses ya hii insecurity ni mambo ya korido ame mpaka ya poko turkana na mara kwetu usikia malilio yetu kama wamama ya pili ni grazing areas wakati wenzetu watukana wanakuja ku grace nji yetu wana, wanatulia na warudi na sisi tunasema hawa ni watu yetu lakini kidogo wanaanza kuchoko sana aidha mpokota anaanza ame mturkana anaanza bas amani insecurity inaanza kwa hivyo hiyo ndio changamoto ambayo tuko naye hapa ni maji na nyasi kwa sababu hawana nyasi kwa upande yao ni hii long river yetu ndio wanakuja kugrace na kunywa maji na chakula pia iko katika sehemu yetu hapa sisi hatuna boda na wenzetu biashara tunafanya pamoja mashule watoto wao wako kwa mashule yetu wakati tulidiscover ya kwamba sisi tunataka kuleta eh, amani pamoja na wamama ya Turkana mimi hasa kama Julia Pisambasada nilichukua rafiki kutoka Kalimoro na akawa kama dada yangu katika Kacheliba hata kila mtu anajua Turkana ya Julia anaitwa Asabar Mary Asabar mpaka sasa tumefanya juu chini mtoto anasoma kwa shule ya wasichana ya Bakita ambayo iko Kacheliba kwa sababu tunataka kuleta hiyo amani tukue pamoja na huko wanajua ya kwamba kumbe wa mama wameleta amani mpaka mtoto mturkana anakuja kusoma lakini hatujawahi kusikia watoto wa poko tukaenda kusoma kwa Turkana jusi tumeenda silk tukaenda kuwachangia silk yao na hiyo ni interaction ndio tunataka kuondoa hii chuki ambaye tuko naye tunaomba watu equal wa treat watu equal kwa sababu sisi kwa upande ya Uganda Museveni alikuja kudisam kila mtu hataki kujua huyu ni mkoro moja ngshemeji yake huyu ni mpokoti sheme hakuna alidisam kila mtu na tukawa harmless na ndio amani ikakuja sasa kutoka mbale kutoka chepsukunya morot watu wanakuja market amdat kwa upokoti na sisi tunaenda market yao tunaenda kununua mbuzi huko na kila kitu na hakuna kifo yeyote hakuna raid yeyote tunashangaa hii ya Kenya kwa nini haifanyiki hivyo kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali akuje pamoja na wamama aendelee na sisi sisi tumekosa saa hii kuendelesha hii mambo ya amani kwa sababu hatuwezi kujiendelesha peke yetu chebi kilimo ndio alikuwa patron yetu ndio alikuwa anatuombea gari kwa ya president ndio tutembee tuhubiri mambo ya amani kwa sababu tulikuwa tunapima tunapita sehemu kali sana mahali kuna kifo lakini hatukujali kama wamama na Mungu alitusaidia tukahubiri ya amani na ikakuja chini hadi sasa ndio inaanza kurapcha na tutaomba Mungu na serikali ya kwamba mtusaidie tutaomba Mungu na serikali asaidie sisi kudisam kila mtu alafu amani patikane asante sana kiongozi kuna mambo ambayo inaendelea kwa sasa mambo ya unaitwa kwa Kiingereza climate change ama tabia nchi ambao imedhuathiri sana kama kina mama na wakati tabia mlo tabia nchi ikiendelea hivi yule anayeathirika ni mama na watoto ni wale wa mama wako na disability ni wazee ndio wana wanaathirika kwa hii mambo ya climate change kwa hivyo siku ya leo hata nyinyi wanahabari mkiona vile inji imekaa haipendezi wa mama saizi wanateseka kwa sababu hakuna maji wa mama saizi wanaathirika kwa sababu hakuna hakuna chakula saizi kwenda hospitali ni shida saizi kupata hata mboga ni shida kwa hivyo nataka tu kusema ya kwamba tunaathirika kwa sababu ya climate change. Naomba serikali ikiwa mama kiongozi pia na wamama viongozi ambao tuko nao hapa tukisherekea hii siku yetu siku ya leo ya kwamba 
tutafute mbinu ambao tunaweza inaweza kubadilisha hii tabia nchi. Manake vile nimesema ya kwamba ni sisi ndio tunaathirika. Kama ni vita ni mama ndio anaathirika na watoto wake. Kama ni njani mama na watoto wake. Kama ni ugonjwa ni yule mama. So unakuta mambo mengi inachisanya kwa huyu kwa mama. Kwa hivyo nataka tu kwamba serikali zile mbinu zote kama ni upandaji wa maji, nyasi nini miti. Kama ni kuchimba zile silanga. Ichimbwe kwa wingi. Manake mama kwenda mtoni na ile mtungi moja inamharibia wakati mkubwa sana. Huyu mama ndakana kwenda biashara. Huyu mama ndakana kwenda mikutano. Huyu mama ndaka kwenda shule. Huyu mama ndaka kwenda wapi? Lakini kwa sababu ya kupoteza muda mwingi kwenda kutafuta maji ndio imetuharibia hasa sisi wa mama ambao tunatoka jamii ya ufugaji. Kwa hiyo ndio ni umbi langu kama serikali wajaribu sana na wale wa shirika sio ya serikali. Na well wishes wengine kwamba watusaidie kuona ya kwamba tumepata maji hasa sehemu hizi ukiona vile iko. Ni jua ya kupita kiasi. Ndio sababu unaona sasa changamoto ama hii mizozo kelekea pande ya mizozo. Ni huyu mama pia ndiye anaathirika kwa hii mizozo ambayo inaendelea kwa sasa. Kwa sababu hatuna maji, hatuna chakula, hatuna nyasi ya mifuko zetu. Ndio unaona hii vijana wetu sasa ni wanasosana kwa sababu ya hii maji, wanasosana kwa sababu ya, ya nyasi, wanasosana kwa sababu ya hakuna mashule ya kutosha. Ndio sababu unaona hii mizozo aishi maana hatuna zile Uh, maendeleo ya kut, mambo ya maendeleo hakuna insemu hii ndio unakuta sasa mambo mengi yanafanyika mambo ya insecurity ndio tana hawa mama wamelia sana wanasema jamii serikali mtu anayeitwa mama mtu anayeitwa mtoto amuta ambaye ni mlemafu mzee wakati hiyo operation inaendelea hao wasiguswe hiyo ndio tunaomba kama wa mama viongozi wakae tu hata kama ninja itatumaliza taka mama magonjwa itatumaliza lakini watu waje wa deal ama wahusike na wale walifu tunajua walifu wako lakini tu watafute walifu lakini tusiweke katika kategori moja kusema wapoko ni bandits hiyo ndio kitu ambao atochafurahia kama wamama viongozi katika jamii ya poko na wafugaji na jamii za wafugaji wengine nataka tu niombe ombi ambayo ninaomba wamama viongozi iwe ni katika bunge letu ya national assembly iwe ni katika county level sisi kina mama ndio nitakana tuhubiri amani si sisi kuchangia kusema oh kabila hii ndio wanakaa hivi kabila hii ndio wana, wana, wanaua watu kabila hii katika social media media nataka tu kuwaomba kama mama kiongozi ambao ninapenda amani ndio yetu vile nimewaambia reporters kwamba angalia nchi vile iko hii ni nchi ambayo inafanyiwa operation ndio atukatai Unafanyia mtu operation mwenye hata kukimbia ni shida. Njaa ndio hii. Maji hakuna. Magonjwa ndio hii. Hospitali hakuna, mashule hakuna. Watoto wasiana unaona sasa wana, ile drop out ya watoto wasiana. Iko al, iko idadi ya juu iko ni nisa asilimia ya juu sana. Maana kai mtoto mama akitoroka mtoto msiana anamfuata nyuma. Ile elimu yake inaisha. Kwa hivyo nataka tu kusema ya kwamba serikali walete ile dialogue walete mambo ya reconciliation ili tuweze kutengamana kama jamii zote ambao wanasosana viongozi hao wote wakileta waki, waki, waki kikao moja hakuna kitu itatushinda ita, ita hii misoso itaisha kwa hivyo mikutano ya kila mara national government na county government na wale council of elders na wale peace committees wakati peace committee sawa kuendelea na zile mikutano ndio unakuta sasa hii misoso inaendelea manake pokoto wanasema a a msijaribu kwenda kuchokosa jirani yetu wale wengine wanasema hapana msiende wale wengine wanasema hapana msiende so unakuta katika ile hali watu wetu wanatulia lakini kwa sasa vile sasa watu wamewachwa tu hivi so kila mtu sasa atafanya mambo yenye ifurahishi kwa hivyo leo ni siku ambayo tunataka tu na serikali watu tafutie mbinu ya kuweza kufanya maendeleo katika kaunti yetu. Asante.